Hey everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, learningvideo.com. I'm gonna end this tutorial, I'm gonna quickly show you how to get the, uh, basically what I've got here. Two cameras, or two video clips side by side. The person asking the question uh, is taking my course uh, on col color matching, and he's not that familiar with Resolve, he's more familiar with Premiere, so let's get at it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete these two. I picked these two because um, in his question, he had two different resolutions and he was unsure how to set it up. Basically, um, he wanted to do a 1080 resolution. So just go to to here and basically just pop down and choose 1080. Uh, click Save. Um, and then what I'm going to do here is, so that's basically, I just adjusted the timeline. Um, and basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, this top clip, uh, the 008, uh, clip is from the Sony and it's done in 4k and I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this onto the timeline You could take it and drag it this way if you wanted the audio, but I don't actually want the audio. I want Here I'm gonna actually go with two up here. I'm gonna pull this down uh, Just the film clip because I don't need all of the other stuff and I'm gonna put on track two I'm gonna explain here why in a second and then I'm gonna take this C100 which is a Canon camera um, done in a certain uh, dyna wide dynamic range mode. And I'm gonna bring this down and put it right here. I'm just gonna trim these together like this, put it at the start. I'm gonna take the Sony camera. I, what I usually do, it's just my <laughs> thing I've been doing for a while, is to slide the Sony to the right. So I'm gonna take the position right here. I'm just gonna click it and I'm gonna slide to the right. I'm gonna get them to about, oh, I don't know, about right here. And then what I usually do is uh, crop left I'm gonna take the image and crop left, and I usually do it to right here where the playhead is. You can see that's usually right in the middle. Somewhere, and it doesn't have to be super accurate for what we're doing here. I'm just gonna take the crop and move it to about right there. And then I'm gonna move down to the Canon camera, and I'm basically gonna take the position of the x-axis and do the same thing, and just kind of put it there. Now you can see that this one was done in 1080, this was done in 4K. This one, just the way I framed it um, at the time, um, I should have zoomed in just slightly. So I'm just gonna take the zoom control for this, the Canon. I'm just gonna bring that up. You can see the framing's a bit different just because of the lens and how it's positioned on the tripod. You get just like an inch off and you can get differences like this um, quite, a, quite a bit. Now, once you've done that, um, you've got both clips going at the same time. I go into the color tab and I'm gonna, and I'm not, this is not a tutorial on how to use the interface or anything, but a lot of people will have like, um, show the timeline, uh, like you, I've clicked the timeline, you could have the media pool, you could have the gallery. There's a whole bunch of different things that you could have here. Uh, you could have the clips, might, you might be showing the clips. But the reason I put that one on top is I usually don't do the clips because um, it takes up real estate. So I take off the clips and I basically just have the timeline. And the reason why I always put a Sony on the top is the one I'm usually adjusting to match to the Canon. Um, so when I make an adjustment like this, let's say I start bringing this up here to match the other one, although this one needs work first. <laughs> but let's say if I were to start making adjustments here and I were to bring up the scopes and start looking at Looking at things, um, the, the first one you're going to be adjusting will be the one that's on the top layer. And that's why back here on the edit tab on track two, I put the Sony on the top layer. That's the only reason. Um, and then you just go from there, like I talk about in the uh, course on how to match these up um, and using uh, this X-ray color checker. So that's pretty much it. Um, I hope the uh, person who asked the question uh, got a lot out of that and hopefully they'll get up to speed. And that's pretty much it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.